Well, squints, yes, they can be corrected and they should be corrected as soon as possible. There are a gamut of modalities that are available to correct squint. It depends on the age of onset of the squint as well as the severity of squint. The various modalities used in the management of squint include simple eye muscle exercises, certain drops and medications, a pair of glasses, Botox injections and a variety of simple and complex surgeries. The squint occurs in generally 1 in 1000 children. Now what happens in squint is that the visual axis of the eyes are misaligned. As a result of that, the eye can move either inwards, outwards, upwards or downwards. Now what happens when the visual axis of the eyes are misaligned? We humans are privileged with uh, using both our eyes together which helps us in giving binocular vision and stereopsis. By stereopsis, I mean 3D vision or depth perception which we all enjoy in animation movies these days. So the child loses the benefit of having this 3D perception. I would like to tell you a story of a kid called Miloni who, was a three year, who came to me when she was 3 years old with persistent headaches and double vision and her mother complained of squinting of the eyes occasionally. We detected her problem of squint and operated on her at the appropriate age. Initially, she always had a complaint of headache and she used to hate these 3D movies. After surgery, she was perfectly happy and then she didn't ask for anything more but 3D movies.